in this video we're going to see magnitude and angle condition also called as magnitude and angle criterion in root locus technique to understand this we have to go one step backwards and see how the root locus is defined first of all now if you see let's take an equation 1 plus g of s times h of s equals to 0 this is a characteristic equation of a closed loop system with open loop gain as g of s times h of s and open loop transfer function as g of s fine now the root locus is nothing but the roots of this particular equation when one of the parameter of this system is varied in general uh, let's see g of s times h of s can be rewritten as let me say it has a factor k and uh, let's write g dash of s times h dash of s and assuming that g dash of s and h dash of s doesn't have any factor or any value with k and we have k independent now if we can change values of k and see how the roots of this equation are going to change then the roots how they are changing with respect to k if we plot these values on an s plane let me call this s plane then we are going to have the roots being changing with respect to k this locus of these roots on s plane is known as root locus okay now essentially we are plotting the roots of this equation when one of the parameters is varied and usually we vary k parameter now coming to the point whatever roots are present on the root locus or whatever point is present on the root locus it should satisfy this equation because it is coming from this equation right so now if you look at this equation let me write it down again g of s times h of s equals to 0 now if i write g of s times h of s equals to we can write this as minus 1 right now if i take magnitude of g of s times h of s function it will be 1 okay and if i take angle of g of s times h of s it will be equal to plus or minus 2 cube plus 1 times 180 degrees okay how did we get this let us see these are two important conditions here now let me take a complex plane okay this is real and this is imaginary in this case I have a point at say minus 1 but this is not a pole okay I am just taking a point here which is present at minus 1 now what is the angle to this minus 1 if we draw a line to this and if you see what is the angle angle it, if it is measured in the anti-clockwise direction it is taken as positive if I take this I'll have plus 180 degrees and this line can also be represented with let's say 180 360 and if I come back again and say this will be 3 times 180 degrees plus right and I can write this down again as I can go around twice and come back one time okay which will be 5 times 180 degrees fine now I can write this 7 times 180 degrees and every angle here represents the same point here okay angle to the same point or else uh, points similar okay now if I measure this angle in the negative direction which is in the clockwise direction then we are going to have similarly negative angles which is minus 180 degrees minus 3 times 180 degrees minus 5 times 180 degrees right minus 7 times 180 degrees and so on and so forth we can write all of these as plus or minus let me write 180 degrees and these values are the coefficients or these values present here can be written as 2q plus 1 because we are going to have all odd numbers here right then this q can take 0 
1, 2, etc. So on. In that case, we'll have, if we take q equals to 0, we'll get this condition, plus or minus 180 degrees. If we take q equals to 1, we'll have my, plus or minus 3 times 180 degrees. 2, 5, okay? And if we take 3, we'll get 7, and so on and so forth. So we can write here as q can take values 0, 1, 2, etc. So on. Fine. This condition which we are seeing here is known as magnitude condition. Okay. And this condition over here which we are seeing is called angle condition. And if you see this, any point which is present on the root locus, it should satisfy both these equations. Okay, one is magnitude condition and the other is angle condition. And people usually refer to this as, again, magnitude criterion or angle criterion here. Okay, fine. These two are the basic stepping stones for the definitions of root locus. And these are very important results based on which we can define all other construction rules which we are going to see in further videos. Okay, thanks for watching.